They kill civilians on purpose. They rape, loot and destroy peaceful infrastructure. They steal grain, blackmail with oil and gas. They lie to everyone they meet with. They are the terrorist state Russia, but the most dangerous weapon is not what the so-called soldiers have. They are the informational terrorists. Some countries feel it more, some less. This is why the experience of Ukraine resisting Russia is priceless. We paid with blood for this knowledge. And now it's up to you whether to have informational hygiene or to have the risk of your own 24th of February 2022. Here are the main rules of informational hygiene for everyone. Always verify the source. This war is the first ever war that goes on air. We have dozens of resources where you may find photos and videos of Russian terrorist attacks. Do not trust alternative points of view. This war is very straight. And whatever Russia says, you always have the unbiased analysis from the trusted independent sources. Make your own conclusions. Do not listen to propaganda. Russians always first say that they hit a military base and then say that it wasn't them. Since the MH17 tragedy, they terrorize, but they are too much cowards, so they lie. Be guided by simple values you expect from your own children. Do not kill, do not steal, do not wage a war and call it special operation. In this case, propaganda will not fool you. And now check your own beliefs and point of view and compare it to the narratives that Russian bots spread over the Internet. It is all the USA's fault. A very comfortable Russian lies. But this is Russia that waged a war against Ukraine, murdered, raped and robbed civilians. Because of the USA? Russia has been terrorizing Ukrainians since 2014. This cowardly state is just too scared to admit they are chronical terrorists. Where have you been for eight years when Donbass was bombed? Donbass wasn't bombed by Ukrainian army. This fake was debunked by all the independent sources. But since the February 24th, Russia almost burned it down. These are Ukrainians bombing themselves, or it's all settings. These are the most cynical lies by the Russian government, which cannot accept that this war is online 24-7 and all the attacks, victims and evidences are on air at the same moment. No chance to run away from your own crimes. What about Syria? The country may vary, but the total whataboutism is trying to switch your attention from the crimes against humanity that Russia commits right now. And yes, Syria is also a crime provided by so-called Russian army. Ukrainian authorities are corrupted. Normally it goes together with don't give them weapons, because they fight back. No commands here. It is the best evidence of the Western support effectiveness. The most interesting that even Russians themselves do not believe in it anymore. For those inside the country, the propaganda machine creates their own lies. Gesture of goodwill, everything goes according to plan, 1000 of downed by rectars when there are only several hundreds all over the world. Russians will eat it, but will you? Now they are trained to bark at anything pro-Ukrainian, even the Vogue magazine presidential photo session, just because their president can appear only on wanted photo session.